During the first pogrom, in the night from 25 to 26 June, the Lithuanian partisans did away with more than 1,500 Jews. And no one would pay any attention to us. No one wanted us. We were just rejected. And burned down a Jewish dwelling district consisting of about 60 houses. Shinyu Sugihara, born on January 1st, 1900 in Japan. He was the savior of an estimated 2,200 Jewish families in Lithuania during the Holocaust. The purpose of this documentary is to shine light on the amazing and courageous acts of Shinyu Sugihara, an unsung hero. Shinyu Sugihara was a middle class worker for the Japanese consulate that wrote visas for a living. During World War II, he arrived to Lithuania in March 1939. But just a mere four months later, the Soviet Union invaded. Now, the only hope for Jewish families to escape was through a travel visa due to Soviet policy. Jewish families quickly realized this, so in July 1940, while Mr. Sugihara was stationed in Lithuania, thousands of Jewish people lined up outside the consulate hoping to receive a transit visa out of the country. And we were just going from one consulate to the other, to the embassies, begging and telling them about our tragic situation. And no one would pay any attention to us. No one wanted us. We were just rejected by all the consulates, by all the embassies. We were desperate, absolutely desperate. Jewish families were desperate to flee the now approaching Nazis. If Mr. Sugihara would grant them Japanese transit visas, they could obtain Soviet exit visas and hope for possible freedom. The only problem, Mr. Sugihara did not have the authority to issue without permission, so he telegraphed the Japanese consulate in Tokyo. Three times the request was denied. Shinyu Sugihara now had a choice to make ignore the Jewish families and their pleas for help, or disrespect the wishes of his government and possibly save Jewish lives. He ended up disobeying orders and handed out 2,139 visas to Jewish families. We were able to get in contact with one of the people saved, Dr. Blumen, who lives in Vancouver, Canada. So, your parents were the ones saved by Shinya Sugihara? That, that's correct. And, and also an uncle and his wife. Poland was divided into two parts. One was the German Nazi occupied part. One was the Soviet Union occupied part. Poland was not considered to be safe still. And uh, Lithuania was considered to be a, a, a relatively free country. And the board, border at that time was porous. So with the help of guides, uh, my mother and father both went to Vilna in Lithuania in the same month the war broke out. The war broke out about four o'clock in the morning and we were all awakened by the massive plane attack on our city. After arriving to Lithuania, things began to take a disastrous turn. The Nazis were closing their fist onto Europe, and Lithuania was next. If these Jewish families did not get visas to flee Lithuania, they will surely perish when the Nazis inevitably invade and take over. So Mr. Sugihara decided to risk him and his family's well-being, and began writing visas without permission. In a span of 29 days, from July 31st to August 28th in 1940, Mr. Sugihara wrote 2,139 visas for up to 20 hours a day, not even stopping to eat. Consul Sugihara granted us this wonderful visa for life, the transit visa. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you remember my father said uh, he hoped two or three people at least could go through. You know, he, he didn't expect thousands of people would survive. After 29 days of non-stop writing, he finally had to depart from his station in 1940. On the day he had to leave, he was writing visas in the train. He even gave out his official stamp and papers and hoped he would just save a few more lives. He knew that if the Japanese consulate found out, life-altering consequences would emerge. But that didn't stop him. Because it was not about his life, it was about saving other people's lives. Ultimately, an estimated 30,000 Jewish individuals were saved by Mr. Sugihara. And over the years, through many generations, he is credited with saving over 100,000 people. I asked my father, why did you issue? Uh, because he risked his life. And uh, he was dismissed by Japanese government after, after the war when he came back. He said, just, uh, I felt sorry for those people who are running away from uh, German Nazis. I felt pity on them he said so so that's all you know, nothing like I wanted to be a hero or I was a hero nothing after all that hardship the Japanese consulate found out about mr. Sugihara's actions he was shunned and stripped away of his job and for the next decade his family would be separated and would struggle financially after the war we, uh, when uh, he came of course he had no job he was dismissed so he had to do anything, uh, hard work, and a few years later he opened a shop to sell groceries. Only 45 years later was he recognized by Israel, after many survivors spoke up about him. By then, Mr. Sugihara was too ill to travel and receive his reward, so his wife and kids went for him. Mr. Sugihara passed away a few months after. We gathered uh, together with uh, uh, survivors and uh, their family to plant and uh, the Japanese uh, built a monument. But those recognitions and honors did not last, because in 2018, a memorial of Shinyu Sugihara was destroyed in order to build a residential neighborhood. After, I mean, uh, it, it was this year, February, I asked some survivor, because I couldn't find the location uh, some years ago I went to visit, and he checked and he said, it doesn't exist anymore. There are apartments and the forest disappeared. And we, we checked the history and these apartments were built in 2005, around 2005. So 20 years after the planting, they destroyed the forest and they sold the land to construction companies. But construction companies went bankrupt. So nobody knew what happened actually. But some, uh, something happened, of course, why they would sell, why they would uh, destroy the forest. True heroes are always overlooked, but his story will always live on with his son. Within the hundreds of family trees he saved, Shinyu Sugihara will always be remembered as a selfless hero. Sugihara saved our family, that's all. We wouldn't exist without them.